Meals on Wheels, San Diego continues to support homebound seniors amid challenges brought on by the pandemic. Joining us now with an update on operations uh, now that the region's fully reopened is President and CEO of Meals on Wheels, San Diego County, Brent Wickfield. Good morning, Brent. Good morning, Allie. Thank you so much for having us. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell me, now that things have reopened, how does that yeah. change your day-to-day? -day? How does that change what you guys are doing at Meals on Wheels here in San Diego County? Right. Well, in this last year, we've actually been able to serve 650,000 meals. Um, and we're really proud to say that there has not been one transmission of the coronavirus between a client and a volunteer, anybody serving a client, vice versa. Um, and so that's huge. If you can imagine in 650,000 interactions, not one, and that was because of the mask. And so now that people are starting to get vaccinated, um, you know, that's a protective layer and maybe could sustain uh, those numbers, but we're really not quite there yet. We still have concern that our clients could be at risk or exposed because not everybody's vaccinated. So although our whole team who works at Meals on Wheels is now fully vaccinated, um, we're not yet verifying if volunteers have gotten vaccinated or not. And so we're trying to figure out how is it that we are gonna uh, assure the safety of our clients. So for now, we're continuing with the masks and you know, we do our best work, Allie, when we can cross the threshold and, and you know, share a smile, uh, he, help the senior warm their meal um, and, and have a shorter interaction uh, inside the house. But now we've had to kind of remain outside and keep the mask on. And we're gonna do that for a little while longer. And there's gonna be an evolution here and we're not quite sure yet how to assure the safety of the seniors. And so we're, we're kind of waiting and seeing as we knew the mask was gonna protect them. Um, we know that the vaccine is a layer of protection, but we don't yet know who all is vaccinated. So um, we're getting that information from our clients, not yet from our volunteers. So, you know, there's a, there's a lot there that we're trying to wade through and do it carefully. Now, I know the last time that I visited was kind of at the start of the pandemic and you guys were just gearing up. You were in need of volunteers. And I know that you were very busy during the pandemic and just really, you know, such a resource for so many people who needed help. And I would imagine that a lot of those people you're still continuing to help, even though things have changed. You're, you're spot on there, Ali. So we did have a 47% increase. So we were serving about 1,300 clients a day, and then we jumped up to 2,000 virtually overnight at the beginning of the pandemic. And so new vans, bigger freezers and refrigerators, and a lot more volunteers. And so right now we've got about 2,540 2, active volunteers, but we do need more. The summer break is coming, um, and we still have a high number of clients, around 1,900. And we also suspect that a lot of those clients that were getting great uh, plates, you know, those meals that were provided by restaurants for free from the states, they're starting to call us in massive numbers um, and they, they need help too. So we may see another uptick in numbers combined with volunteers going away on vacation. We wanna do a shout out to everybody here in San Diego. If they can volunteer and join us, we would absolutely need you and we're honored to have you. I mean, they make the difference anyway. So um, we get about 110,000 hours a month from our volunteers. It's absolutely remarkable. And are there any restrictions, anything that they need to know? Because I know you have a variety of different jobs that they can do if you wanna be a volunteer. Yeah, most of the volunteer jobs are actually delivering the meals. And that's that's kind of where we need it most. There are some companionship call programs and you can find all this information online at San Diego Meals on Wheels.org, which is on the, on the website here. Um, and, and I think it would be terrific if you want to deliver meals or do one of those programs, go online and sign up for us um, because we, we need you there. Now, one of the things you're gonna have to do if you're gonna deliver meals still for now is wear a mask and not actually cross the threshold. Um, but I think we've all learned how to get silly and be fun and have a really honest and, and fun exchange even with the mask on. And so for now, we're still asking our, um, our volunteers to do that. All right, good information. Brent Wakefield, President and CEO, Meals on Wheels, San Diego County. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and getting the information out there. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate it, Allie. We, we, we need our volunteers and we need all of you. So thank you for all your good work.